Canelo versus Triple G. Three, the betting odds. And the betting odds tell us Canelo minus 500 to win the fight. Canelo plus 105 by decision, plus 150 by knockout. Golovkin plus 650 by decision. Golovkin 850 by knockout. Um, but I'm saying don't pay attention to any of that because the value play here that's sitting close to even odds is will the fight go the distance? And yes, is minus 155. I think people need to be jumping on that. If you pay attention to the trends from the first fight to the second fight, as far as CompuBox stats, and I know CompuBox isn't 100% accurate, but it does tell us trends. And the, the trends from the first fight to the second fight that I think will continue into the third fight is both fighters were more active from the first fight to the second fight, but uh, Golovkin was more active with the jab. And as he was, naturally, his efficiency with the jab went down. With Canelo, the reason he had more success from the first fight to the second fight, despite how you had the fight scored, everybody agrees Canelo performed better in the second fight. The reason he did is, is he was more active, more front foot oriented in the second fight. And as he threw more power punches, because he threw a lot more power punches in the second fight, his efficiency stayed the same, even despite throwing more power punches. But the big trend from the first fight to the second fight, and will continue to the third fight, is despite Canelo landing more power shots, despite Golovkin himself landing a high percentage of power shots, neither guy hurt each other. And that's going to be the, the trend going into the third fight as well. As Golovkin has diminished, his skills have diminished a bit for, from four or five years ago. His reflexes aren't what they were. So Canelo is going to be landing a lot of power shots. He's going to be finding his angles. Golovkin, not as much, which is why I like Canelo to win this fight by decision. But I like it by decision. Don't overthink this thing. I don't think there's going to be a stoppage here. For the first 24 rounds, they weren't able to hurt each other. And for the next 12 rounds, I don't think they'll be able to hurt each other again even with Golovkin's diminished uh, reflexes. So will the fight go the distance? Minus 155, jump on it.